Hey friends, what's up and welcome back to this new video. We are still designing in Sketch and we are learning the basics of it. And today I thought why not choosing a video that is all about customizing the interface that we have because it's really necessary to customize your interface, to optimize your own workflow and to simply feel like in your world, to feel like in your app, you know. And Sketch is really customizable so we can customize certain things and we will just do it right now. We will start with the toolbar. In one of the first videos, I told you that the toolbar is the area at the top of our Sketch app and uh, we can simply go and hit view. And then we can either hide the toolbar if you don't want to use it at all, because maybe you're just using the options you have right here, or you want to have a clean view on your designs. And uh, you can also, of course, just unhide it by going to view and then show toolbar. So we have it again, but we can also go and customize it. Customize toolbar gives us a variety of different elements that we can add to it. We can of course also delete some of those right here. For example, maybe you are never going to use the edit function, then you can simply drag it out or you don't want to have such a big space between the elements in this uh, area right here. You can drag it out as well but you can add certain other things uh, like for example creating a vector let's drag it over to our artboard maybe right on the right side of it and uh, maybe if you want to separate it a little bit you can add a little space that is here you can also add a flexible space like right there uh, which is basically the same one that we have in here because it's getting smaller once we add something. So if I drag this out right here, if I drag this out as well and this one, then we see that it's actually really flexible. But we can customize it even further, not just with all those different actions in here that you can just read by yourself and check out. Uh, of course, uh, if you change something and you want to go back to the start, you can simply drag in the default toolbar. That's the one I'm currently using in this video. And we can also set uh, a certain way of displaying our toolbar because we can either show the icon and the text, which is the current way. We can just choose to show only icons and we can even just show only text. So maybe you want like a millimil uh, interface and you can just show your text and it's um, easy as that. Like for example zoom is available like that or you can create a new artboard just hitting the text. But I gotta say I love to have uh, not just text right here and not just an icon because maybe some icons look the same but I love to have both and it's not really using that much space. Even if I don't want to see it because I'm maybe presenting it to somebody can still hide the toolbar. But you can not only hide the toolbar if you want, you can also hide all the other things like uh, hitting comment and hitting the, the point. Just like that you can hide all those things and it's ma it makes it super easy to just have a clean view on your designs without navigating uh, on certain interface elements and if you especially want it to want to show it to somebody like a developer or a client you can easily hide all the mess that is going on for example on the right side uh, like having all those unnamed layers uh, you can easily hide everything and have a really clean view to it and the the other person that is viewing it as well can also just focus on the design I also wanted to add this little tip to this video because it's somehow related to our toolbar. You have your uh, you have your file name right here, and you have this little edited uh, word. Uh, you can simply click your design name, and you can either rename it right here. You can also change the location where it's downloaded. You can lock it as well and add certain tags. So uh, you don't have to look out for your file in your finder. You can easily just rename it right here and see where it's located. And you can also hit CMD comment and click on it to actually see where it's located. So I hope you enjoyed these few tips to improve your workflow and to get started in Sketch. I hope that uh, it was really helpful to you. And if it was helpful, maybe subscribe to this channel or leave a comment if you have a question. And of course, maybe make sure to just hit the thumb up button if you enjoyed it. Thanks guys for watching and we'll see us in the next one. Bye.